The ocean is the heart of our planet. We share this life-supporting system. Yacht owners, designers, builders and crew are united with a common endeavor to make yachting more sustainable and protect the oceans that we love. From solar power to sustainable design, plastic reduction to eco-conscious crew, here are a few of the industry figures leading the charge for change. The yachting community has a disproportionately big impact uh, on the ocean and we all have a responsibility for making a positive impact. The biggest impact starts with the construction of the vessel, making sure that it's built in the most sustainable way, both in terms of materials, uh, propulsion, energy use, uh, materials that will be used on board the vessel so that it's sourced uh, sustainably and that you're eliminating waste as much as possible. As yacht designers, we should creatively lead and include these solutions in the first creation of our yachts. Well, the first creation is done by us and it should incorporate available and new sustainability solutions like bio-based batteries, kite power wind energy and locally harvested woods and textiles for the interiors. By doing this, we have the opportunity to influence the second creation of the yacht, the building of her, to be ultimately more sustainable and ripple by ripple will create a new wave of sustainable yachts. We worked hard to optimize our boat because we're serious about our mission to not disturb nature when we're out on the water. And we want our boats to be as quiet as possible. Underwater noise disturbs the marine environment in many ways and almost all lakes in Europe have problems with noise pollution. Our intention is to drive sustainable and connected boating we want to help create a cleaner and more sustainable industry. After all, if we can succeed in making the planet a better place to live on, then we're all winners. Sustainability can't be something like a moral sacrifice or a political dilemma or a philanthropic cause. It has to be treated as a design challenge. We love to create vessels that look beautiful, perform flawlessly and leave minimum or even no ecological impact. We as designers have the power to inspire. For me, the tipping point where I thought, OK, I got to do something here, was uh, one season in the Med, where we had been at anchor for a couple of weeks. And our uh, four-peak locker uh, was now very full of a lot of garbage. And uh, we were directed to a small island that uh, was uninhabited and was there for the sole purpose of us dumping all of this trash on it. So I really encourage uh, yachties to do what they can. For me, it's definitely the invisible issues, like our cleaning products that we're using on board boats. We are not uh, able to see the damage that they're doing immediately. It's not floating around next to us, but it is doing some terrible harm to our coral reefs, our fish species. It's uh, really damaging the marine ecosystems. I mean, one of the things we see is that how much young people and children actually are genuinely more interested and aware of the need to protect our oceans. There's no doubt in my mind that young people definitely have the energy and enthusiasm and, and power and influence to be the catalyst for change. You know, what I would say is being on the water is a fantastic leveller. It tends to completely equal the playing field and provide such a unique environment that provides challenge, it provides an opportunity for young people and children to sort of step out their comfort zone and give something completely different a go. I'd never ever, God forbid, want to see a place where, you know, the water is so polluted and horrible that a young person looks outside off our quayside in our marina here and says, I don't want to get in that water. But that would just be awful. And I think the reality is, is that, you know, if we can continue to keep this agenda and this point of how important our oceans are, in the forefront of young people's minds, then I think just naturally through that process, I hope that you know, they will be looking for something else from our politicians going forward, which is so desperately needed. Fashion brands have to stop just selling beautiful clothing, footwear and accessories. That's not good enough anymore. Fashion without sustainability is irresponsibility. 
We have been donating for years a percentage of our profits to marine conservation programs in partnership with Ocean Family Foundation or with the NGO World Rise. We need to lead to change the communities that we live in and engage our consumers to make sure that we are able to keep a healthy planet for next generations. My dream is that the next generation will be able to enjoy our world's oceans because we made the changes now. The oceans need our commitment to change the way we live and the way we do business. Our one piece of advice to all our fellow designers in making the oceans healthier is to ride on this new wave and see this as the design challenge of our generation. I'm determined that my kids can inherit a cleaner and healthier ocean. Just demand from the decision makers to use an alternative to single-use plastics. My one piece of advice to fellow owners would be to contribute to ocean conservation both through increased philanthropy but also through reducing your own environmental footprint. We are thrilled to sponsor Ocean Talks again this year and to celebrate all that the yachting industry is doing to promote ocean health. With our shared connection to the yachting world, we have a shared responsibility from eco-design to good practices on board, our actions matter. What will your role be?